Hello again. I lied the last time. Okay, I have lied to you. I knew the eye tutorial would come because I've already made it, and now I'm just speaking behind the scenes. You have been fooled. Now let's get into it. It's the same as last time. I'm just here talking over some drawings I made. This time of eyes. Have fun. So I'd like to keep these tutorials as short as possible just so you don't have to watch through 10 minutes of someone telling you something that you could have been told in five or even less. Now with the eyes, you don't have a construction like a prism for the nose, okay? You have the eye shape, which is basically an egg shape, you could say, and you just emphasize the top half of it. You make it a little thicker to symbolize the eyelashes. And you gotta know that the eyeball and your eyelid are so much a separate entity, they shade each other, okay? Like the eyelid is gonna throw some shade, as in throwing actual shadows, not throwing internet shade, onto your eyeball and the iris, especially the iris. It's very very common to have an iris that is very dark at the top and light at the bottom but we'll come to that in just a bit because that has also another reason now back to the lid it makes a little crease at the top and the bottom the top crease is obviously much much deeper and therefore more shaded and determines more if it actually looks like an eye now going to the eyeball and the iris. Imagine the eyeball as just a round football. That's the easiest way you could do it. And the iris actually goes in a little, you know, like inside the ball a little. It's, it's like a dent. You know, if you have a car and you throw your football against it with full force, it's gonna create a dent in the form of the football. And that's what the iris looks like form-wise. Of course, it has like a little bubble shield that protects the iris and your pupil, which also gives you this little hint of form. You can emphasize this little bubble shield with the highlights in your eye. Like if you see a lamp or a window really clearly reflected in your eye, that's the little bubble shield reflecting it, not the actual eyeball itself. Therefore, the highlights are distorted so much because they're not reflected by this huge eyeball, but by the little bubble shield which makes just a smaller ball that reflects all of the light away from the eye again. Now let's talk a little bit about the stylization of the eye. On top, there's this super iconic fox eye form, where the outer meeting point of the eyelids is much higher than the tear duct is. That's mostly seen by women or feminine characters. And in the bottom, we have an eye that portrays friendliness. You know, it's round, it's wide open, it's almost like a child's eye. If you know how to make the basic shading of an eye, so it looks like a halfway realistic eye, you can really push the forms to an extreme. Now, I'm running out of video material, so I will say my goodbyes. As always, if you have any questions or don't, write in the comments, like the video if you liked it, and if you don't, just like it anyway. It doesn't cost anything, right? Like, just do it, man. You've sat through the entire video and now you're not even gonna like it? Like, that was... what was that? Four minutes of your time? Three minutes of your time? And you didn't like it? Come on, man. Really? Yeah. Well, who am I to judge? Anyway, goodbye.